guarding your future. Monarch Solutions. There's gotta be more stuff down here than what I'm seeing. Why can't I just pop them in their back real quick? Oh, calm down with your jumping skills there, Jackie boy. He just like, hey, hey guys, hey guys, look what I can do. Look, look, look what I can do. Time stop. <laughs> Dr. Hammerall's office. Looks like that's one level up. back this way. So I was right to go in here, okay. Hello, it's finally come to commence phase three of our plan tonight. I gotta read this, I'll be hosting a gala to celebrate the monumental achievement to which you're all invited, but now you have likely heard the events that took place earlier today reporting our past forward has not been impacted by the minor setback. We are ready for what comes next. Your part in this journey has not yet begun, but the onset of this fracture will begin with the new challenges that are worth reiterating. I am not able to go over many of these issues in detail at tonight's gala because many guests when I have knowledge of life lifeboat protocols. As such, I am including a high-level document outlining key points worth addressing and path forward our journey ahead. Lifeboat protocol, status of the survival program, shifters, dangers awaiting us at the end of time, our in detour, our future at work. Fast forward. For the lifeboat protocol, you were sent the package illustrating in great detail several events that would come to pass. It was stressed that these events were unavoidable. Many of you were reluctant to believe this, but every single one of these events has since occurred, including to our great regret the onset of the fracture. This provides empirical evidence of my knowledge and understanding of the future. I trust that it has dispelled your doubts in the future event that I've experienced can ever be prevented. This includes the end of time. It cannot be avoided, however it can be survived. Survival in the time has been, has been the primary mission of Monarch Solutions since its inception. Your loyalty to this cause will prove invaluable as we move forward. And this isn't as easy, but in the face of immutable facts, sacrifices must be made in the name of our survival. From this point forward, we will have to start making these sacrifices at a rapid pace. While we do know the exact date, and time at which the complete end of time will occur. Our knowledge about the escalation and stutters and time anomalies leading to this is far less complete. We do, however, know that it will, will be dangerous. For the first time in 17 years, we are entering a phase of relative unknown. Adjustments will need to be made along the way, both in response to the effects of the, fu the 
fractures progress into the last cosmic events that we'll find ourselves in. We ask for your patience in this trying time. Jesus Christ. Lipo protocol. You are cho- you are the chosen few that will survive the end of the time. When the time stops, your journey will continue in the safety of the light boat. The chronon particle harvesting operation is nearing completion. The life boat has been confirmed to be able to run solely on the chronon power as regulated by the chronon field. Regulator, current data indicates that the life boat will remain suitable for approximately 50 years. Some years, of course, as no time and it will pass outside the life boat. Given the pre preliminary research we have achieved using the CFR, we estimate that it will take at least two sub subjective decades for the lifeboat team to discover a permanent solution for the end of, end of time. Given the nature of the problem, this is, of course, highly speculative, and the solution could prove to be more elusive than we're hoping. However, by the time the lifeboat protocol is activated, we are confident that we'll be able to increase our chronon particle research reserves and that are sustainable to Jesus Christ stuttered much to a point to where we have a runtime of upwards of 200 subjective years or to put it another way if there is a solution at the end of time I'm 100% confident that the lifeboat team will have the necessary time to discover it three shifters we br briefed you all on the danger of chronon disruptive wave function subjects and what are now being referred to as shifters we estimate that they will be begin to emerge within stutters only as the end time nears the lifeboat has been tested and we can say with absolute certainty that the stutter proof technology will protect the lifeboat from shifters using a living sample in Dr. Kim's lab. We've proved, proven that the shifters cannot manifest without the presence of a stutter. We'll make sure that you are transported to the safety of the lifeboat before they arrive. Floor 3 of the lifeboat has been built to house the Monarch Solution Striker and Juggernaut squads, a preliminary unit trained to combat shifters at the end of time. Their presence will likely not concern you however in the event of travel outside the safety of the lifeboat proves to be necessary for any reason striker teams have been trained to navigate the end of time and successfully eliminate shifters for r and d tour tonight we'll be sending you vip passes for the gala which will permit you into our high entry r and d facility on go island many of you of course are already in intimately inten intimately familiar with these areas given your tech technolo technological and scientific expertise but those who aren't will undoubtedly find it interesting and are welcome to join our tour to view the various pieces of tech that Monarch has developed during phase two to prepare for our journey forward. We welcome you to take this opportunity to see yourself that every development necessary for the lifeboat protocol is completely on schedule. Your dedication to our case will assure you our survival. Dark times are will assure you our survival. Dark times are coming, but you are the light at the end of the tunnel. Your humanity, salvation, and hope. Together we will survive. I am fucking done. That is too much to fucking read. Like, what the hell, Remedy? Device drain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, suck a fucking duck. The device drain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. I want to go back the other way and see if I'm missing anything. Or I don't want to miss stuff. I'm going for a 100% run my first playthrough, boys. Device drain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. That was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. Are you sure this can't be traced back to us? Impossible. I've adjusted the flight controls so the drone will crash into the villa on your order. Good. Lyric. I'll make sure that Sophia's in position when the time is right. Oh, he's gonna kill her. He is threatened. How do 
on, get to that. There's gotta be a door somewhere. visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for? I want my upgrade point. Only thing I didn't find really well this playthrough was all the chronon particles which i will go back. i'm probably gonna play through this twice and pick the opposite choices i picked my playthrough this time dr amaral's office looks like that's one level up gonna be such a bit and I just jinxed myself earlier by saying no there was not a boss fight yet We refer to it as no a chronon dampener. Oh, it's not there anymore, so I'm assuming. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? Oh, I didn't even know this. The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Whew. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero. <sighs> I really wish it would just let me start from right here. There's an emboss, this is gonna be a major fucking bitch, man.
Device drain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon damp. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for? Oh, I have press up for objective reminder. Oh. Oh, you don't say. What the fuck is that thing? Kill him? Yeah, that was hardcore. Oh, hello. We might be able to get out from here. This isn't the usual employee route. <clears throat> oh, say, please to God, don't fail that jump. Oh, he. If there's a point to where there's nothing but those things. No, 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 no. Oh. You got to be fucking me. I'm up here. Because if I had to kill that juggernaut again, I was getting off. I'm guessing this isn't the usual employee route. Motherfucker! 